Today we will begin Section 4.8, Scientific Notation. A number is expressed in scientific notation when it is written as the product of a factor and a power of 10. The factor must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. In Example 1, we will express numbers in standard form. 4.24 times 10 to the second power equals 424. We get this by moving the decimal point two places to the right. For 3.347 times 10 to the negative first power, you will get 0 0.3347 by moving the decimal point one place to the left. Let's look at some examples together. Again, we will express numbers in standard form. 5.72 times 10 to the fourth power can be changed to standard form by moving the decimal point four places to the right. So the answer would be 57,200. We move the decimal point to the right when the exponent is positive. In the next example, 5.689 times 10 to the negative third, we'll move our decimal point to the left. one, two, three places. So the answer will be 0 0.005689. We moved it to the left because the exponent is negative. Now it's time to try some problems on your own. In self-check number one, you'll express numbers in standard form. In case you're unable to see this, the number is 2.505 times 10 to the third power. In self-check number two, you will also express numbers in standard form. The number is 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Take a few minutes, show your work on the back of your note paper, and make sure you put your answers on the form to submit to me. In example two, we'll express numbers in scientific notation. We'll start in standard form and we'll switch it to scientific notation. The number two million has an assumed decimal point at the end of the number. We'll move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five, six places until we get a number that is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. The number two is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. So it will be two times 10 to the sixth power because we had to move our decimal point six places to the left. The exponent is positive because the number two million is greater than one. The next example is 499,000. Again, there is assumed decimal point at the end of the number. We'll move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five places to get a number that is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. 4.99 is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. So the answer is 4.99 times 10 to the fifth power because we had to move the decimal point five places to the left. The exponent is positive because the number 499,000 is greater than one. In our last example, 0.0125, the decimal point is already there for us, but we need to move it until we get a number that is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. To do that, I have to move it one, two places, and I get 1.25, which is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. The answer will be 1.25 times 10 to the negative second power because the exponent will be negative since 0 0.0125 is less than one. Let's do a couple of examples together. 39,560. In order to change 39,560 to scientific notation, we have an assumed decimal point at the end of the number. We'll move the decimal point one, two, three, four places until we have a number 
that is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. 3.95 satisfies those requirements. And then we'll multiply it times 10 to the fourth power because we moved our decimal point four places. Again, the exponent is going to be positive because 39,560 is greater than one. In our next example, 0 0.000425, we'll move our decimal point to the right, one, two, three, four places until we have a number that is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. 4.25 satisfies these conditions. So it will be 4.25 times 10 to the one, two, three, four, negative fourth place. It is negative four because the number 0 .000425 is less than one. Now it's time to do some problems on your own. In the first self-check, number four, we're going to express each number in scientific notation. In case you can't see the number, it's 5,894,000. In the fifth self-check, the number is 0 0.000078. Take a few minutes to show your work on the back of your paper and change these numbers to scientific notation. Be sure to put your answer on your notes and to submit the answer to me online. In example three, we're going to compare and order numbers in scientific notation. To compare and order numbers in scientific notation, first compare the exponents. With positive numbers, any number with a greater exponent is greater. If the exponents are the same, compare the factors. Let's order Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, and Saturn as least to greatest distance from the Sun. First, we'll order the numbers according to their exponents. Mercury at 5.80 times 10 to the seventh has the smallest exponent. Jupiter and Mars both have exponents of eight, but they're positive numbers, so 7.78 times 10 to the eighth is the greater, and 2.2 times 10 to the eighth is smaller. Saturn at 1.43 times 10 to the ninth has the highest exponent. Mars at 2.28 times 10 to the eighth, as we stated, is less than Jupiter at 7.78 times 10 to the eighth because 2.28 is less than 7.78. So the order would be Mercury, then Mars, then Jupiter, then Saturn. In example four, we'll choose the greater number in each pair. The numbers are 2.3 times 10 to the fifth power and 1.7 times 10 to the fifth power. The exponents are the same, so we will compare the factors. 1.7 is less than 2.3, so 2.3 times 10 to the fifth is the greatest number. Now let's try some on your own. In self-check number six, we're going to order some numbers from least to greatest. I'm giving you a hint here that you need to write them all in standard form or all in scientific notation before comparing them. It's your choice. You can choose which to do and then compare them. I'm going to write them again so you can see them better. So 6.1 times 10 to the fourth power, 6,100, 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth power, 0 0.0061 and 6.1 times 10 to the negative second power. In self-check number seven, you'll choose the greater number in each pair. The numbers are 5.2 times 10 to the second and 5,000. In self-check number eight, you're going to write four times 10 to the fourth plus eight times 10 to the third, plus three times 10 to the second, plus nine times 10 to the first, plus six times 10 to the zero power in standard form. If you need to look back at section 4.2 where we took a number from standard form and wrote it in expanded form to help you with this self-check, you may do so. Be sure to show your work on the back of your notes, write your answers on the front of the notes, and submit your answers to me.